Welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 25th of July, 2017. Another short but sweet Status Report this time, but we do have some good information, like a Gamescom demo showing off the beta progress with certain features. So let's get into it, starting with lead producer Eugen. In beta we trust, deliver we must. A catchphrase that Eugen has seen on the whiteboards a couple of weeks ago perfectly summarizes how we as a team feel right now. We know things haven't been perfect and that the experience that we wanted to provide has not always been consistent with our vision. Technology debt that we have been fighting held us in a fairly firm grip where we quickly realized that providing short-term solutions over and over isn't going to cut it. We had to rethink and go back to the drawing board multiple times to start making a fun game. We knew the solutions needed, but the time investment was huge, with lots of risks ahead, which is where a lot of the development kept getting slowed down by the complexity of the engine changes that were needed as well as unexpected issues that kept changing the landscape before us. It was a risky move that we hope will keep the game alive going forward and bring back those that might have been turned away by the state of the game, as we truly believe that what you players want and what we meant to deliver wasn't doable with the technology we had. There are players out there who are patiently waiting while playing the game in a state that it is in now, others who wait for the full release, or some who come back every once in a while to see what has changed. Some are more invested than others, they read our channels, think about consequences of what we talk about, and some just want to see it in action. As the beta is becoming a fleshed out reboot of the game all of us wanted, we plan to have a limited playable build at Gamescom this year. We're doing everything we can to make it available at the Bohemia Interactive booth for the visitors to try it out. Of course we can expect some footage in the future status report as well following Gamescom or around the same time, so don't worry if we can't make it to Gamescom, we will get to see it ourselves. And the sole focus of this build is gunplay and player movement on an edited version of Chernerus prepared especially for the purpose of this demo. That is why a lot of our efforts have been looking at the flow of player actions, controls, and consistency of their outcome. The team will be there in person to discuss the details with those interested. Feedback is the most important thing, and we can't wait to see people play it and smoothen the rough edges. Now that also means that the next couple of weeks are fully focused on the content of the Gamescom demo, so that there is no major hurdles when the fans in Cologne get their hands on it. All departments are trying to iron out the details as much as they can, so that we can have fun within Germany. For the first beta update itself, there is no release date yet. We don't want to let you down unless we're absolutely sure it's coming. The Gamescom demo work itself still counts towards the overall development of course. But we're not ready to put that version of the game on any of the public Steam branches, simply because the feature set of our demo will be limited and does not represent the complete DayZ experience. And of course, finally from Eugen, the list of things the team are tackling towards beta. As always, this list is ever-changing, and it always gets me looking forward to what beta will offer. And finally today, we have senior map designer Adam, who takes us through ongoing changes with the satellite texture since 0.62 update. Now this texture is 15,360 by 15,360 pixels. Work on this is the stuff of nightmares, and it's going to take some time. But as we can see on screen now, a before and after comparison. Correcting the color palette for grass and ground throughout Chernerus is no small task. And the amazing visual fidelity overhaul that we witnessed in 0.62 update is still an ongoing mission. But with that being said, Adam also has some extra bonus pictures for us this time. Work has progressed on the western border of Chernerus. Currently, detailed object layout is being worked on in the areas of West Zelenogorsk. On screen now, we can see some screenshots of the newly added settlements. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the names of these towns. I'll leave that down for you guys. And that is all for this week's status report highlight for the 25th of July, 2017. I guess the main thing to take from this is the Gamescom demo showing some beta features. Most of us won't be at Gamescom to see this in action, but I'm sure there will be footage around the same time for us all to enjoy. Let's talk about this in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy the content I create. Support me on Patreon, follow me on Twitch, and social media. All links are in the description below, and I'll see you peeps next time.